Hi guys, I wanted to go over quickly um, how to use tabs and leaders uh, for your inside of your menu. So I went ahead and copied the Starlight Bistro copy that was provided in the Word document. And now I'm in InDesign and I'm gonna set up my margins and columns. I'm gonna go up to Layout, Margins and Columns. And this is a great way to, um, you know, start gridding out some of your columns within your menu. If you have more than one, you can preview your columns in this way too. So go down to com columns in this panel box that opens up and go ahead and choose number two. Just hit on the up arrow to choose more than two, three, four. And you'll see these margins appearing that um, divide up this layout space. So um, it's a nice way to start so that you have, a, you know, your alignment is set in here. And these purple lines will not print. That's basically for you um, to align all of your, your elements, such as your copy. Um, your margins is basically the thicker outer um, space that frames your work. And typically it's no less than 0.5, half of an inch. So we're gonna keep that at, uh, at such, and then two columns is kind of what I'm choosing here. It's up to you on what columns that you wanna do for your, your menu. So I'm gonna take the type tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a box starting with the second column, just design aesthetic uh, wise in the second column. I'm gonna do command V, which is pasting in all of my copy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up, excuse me, my type in tables character panel. And this is where I can change, if I do a select all, um, you can change the font, the size of the font, the letting, that's the space in between your lines of text. Um, and you can do some kerning and tracking as well. Um, and so before we get into the um, style, paragraph styles and character styles, I'm just gonna quickly change this. Um, typically menu in the menu design uh, for the type, it's between you know, 10 point, 11 point type is typically the size that you want to stick around depending on your, your typeface. And, and generally it's a 20% difference between point size of type and your letting. So I like to do 10 points for my letting and 14 point for my, I'm sorry, 10 points for my point size and 14 points for my letting. That's a nice readable um, ratio between your lines of text and the actual point size of the text. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly, I'm not gonna go over style sheets, um, paragraph and character styles. So I'm just gonna quickly set it as that. What we're gonna be looking at is how do we set up tabs for these price points that we have? So you see we have different sections like smoothie for this menu in a bowl. Um, we have on a plate, so three different sections, which I probably shouldn't have deleted that space there. And um, in those sections are the name of the plate with a price point. So what I wanna do is I wanna add in my tab right before the price point so that all of my price points will be aligned on the right-hand side here. Uh, and it will be aligned evenly so it's easier to read. Now in between those tabs, we wanna put a leader in there. And the leader are those little dots that kind of travel the eye to where the price point is. It helps travel the eye there. So what we're gonna do, and um, like, I get, like I said, you can do a style sheet for this, um, and you will definitely go over that in your lecture as well. But I'm gonna just quickly show you how to set up your tabs, um, just not even using a style sheet for now. So I would do a select all, and I will go up to type and choose tabs. And this tab bar comes up here. Now it's a little confusing at first, but it's pretty easy. Wherever your copy box starts, so mine would be where this uh, word smoothie starts, is where your zero will be. You can kind of move this around. So that's zero. Now this little arrow on the right-hand side here is showing where that copy box ends, okay? So it ends on the right-hand side here. 
So, you know, kind of push just above here so it kind of aligns up above. You don't have to, but it's just nice to, to see that visually. Okay, and right here are all of your different types of tabs. You have your left justified tab. That'll tab everything um, on the left side, wherever you set your tab. You have your center justify tab that'll center all of your elements, you know, within that tab. And then you have your right justified tab. And again, that'll be opposite of the left. And that will just align on the right hand side, all of wh whatever you have set as a tab. So because I'm having my price points on the right hand side of this column, I'm going to choose right justified tab. Now, how you set this is you don't really click in this black ruler part. Right above that, in between, it's kind of like in between the buttons and the black ruler, there's a real thin line here. And in that area is where you want to click to set your tab. And you can click anywhere in here. If you click one time, you'll see a little um, blue tab appear. And then you can push this around to wherever you want it to align. So I'm gonna push this all the way to the right here, making sure I don't move that other uh, arrow and leave it as such. Okay, so that is my, my right um, justified tab. Now, I'm not done yet because I still want a leader before that, right? I want those little dots in between. So where, right where it says leader up here, I'm gonna put my little selection, my arrow, and click in there and just put a little period. That's all you need to do. Then you just X out. Now, just go ahead and I'm gonna zoom in here. Now with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, uh, my cursor right in front of each price point and just delete that extra space out there. And then I just hit uh, tab on my keyboard. And my leader is lost. I'm gonna have to go back up and put that dot again in there again. There we go. When you put that dot in there, just get, hit tab or click over here so it applies. That's what I just, that's what I didn't do. Okay, so then we go down here and we find another price point. Click our ruler. And since we did a select all, it's gonna apply it to anything that you selected. So I'm gonna delete that little space and I'm gonna hit tab. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do a select all and go back up to tab. I need to change that. So go to tabs. It didn't take my period, so I'm gonna put the period in there and just make sure it, it selects it before I X out. That's kind of my, my little oops there. Okay, next price point. Again, delete that space right in between and hit tab. Next price point, delete that little space and tab. And you can see it's right, uh, right justified aligned here. So all of your price points are neatly um, aligning on the right hand side of your, of your copy box that you um, that you put in there. That's a quick, just delete and hit tab on your keyboard. Okay. And anytime you want to edit it, like you saw me do, you'll either select the one line, depending on what, how you did this with your character or I'm sorry, your paragraph style sheet, um, and go back up, either go into your style sheet and change it there. Or if you're doing it this way, just go back to your tabs and you can go ahead and shift things, you know, say if you wanted it to, oops, I lost it. Say if you wanted it to start over here, you can uh, move that, see how those, those uh, change there. And you saw me change this before uh, where I put the little dot there, but this is kind of where you can adjust, adjust it. You can see those price points adjusting there. Okay, just make sure that you're aligning, you know, paying attention to that um, alignment um, on both sides. You should be aligning to your margins perfectly. And if it seems like, okay, this is another thing that happens too. If this happens to you, this is why. Um, that little triangle up the upper right hand corner up here is signifying that that's where your copy box ends. That's where, you know, if you go past that, it's just gonna go to the next line. So what I mean by that, I'll show you. Let me do a tab here. You can see it's all aligned here. I'm gonna dot again. 
if I were to accidentally just go a little over, it's gonna bump your price point to the next line. So all you need to do is just open up your copy box if you don't have this open, I'm sorry, your tab box, and just pull this in so that it's either aligning right on top of that arrow or right before it. Okay, and you might need to kind of change this. If you ever wanna edit out or take out tabs, you can also click on them and just delete them or you can go in the upper right hand corner and say clear all or just delete tab. You could re repeat tabs and you can reset indents if that's, that's also something that you're interested in doing. Okay, well I hope this helped. When you do your paragraph style sheets, it's pretty much the same setup, only you will be um, doing it through your paragraph style sheets.